Hey guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you my current household. So yeah. And my current household actually takes place in Bridgeport. And if you watch my late night LP, it takes late night. My late night LP takes place in Bridgeport as well. Late night actually came came Bridgeport, I mean came with late night. So this is the house they live in. It's actually kind of big because there's the garage and the hallway. The kitchen's like over here. So yeah. Let's see here. Show you around. It's raining actually. Okay. So actually I just started playing this game. Like two hours ago I know right but actually I got pretty far into the game already because it's week one day six so yeah <clears throat> let me show you inside the house okay so here's like the garage we don't have anything in the garage because as you can see we're broke we have 27 civilians so we, we can't even buy anything so yeah, it's empty. We don't even have a car. <laughs> Here's our kitchen. We don't have a a dining table. We eat at the couch. I actually didn't like reorganize anything. I like I just added like stuff they needed like their beds and stuff. And here is the bathroom. And here is her room, which I'll tell you guys their backstory in a little while. Here's their room. Well, this is her room. It's like small, cause as you can see, we don't have any money. Neither when I built this house, we were like we had like three thousand something millions. And then here is a child's room. It's like a, like I said again, simple. She had like more toys, but they were like toddler toys, so she can't play with them anymore. Oopsies. So yeah, her bed. This is like. Okay, so she only has the stuff there. And then here is like their living area, I guess you can say. Even though like it's plain, like I said before. It's simple, just the couch and the TV. This TV actually is from the store. Pink Sim gave, gifted it to me. Gifted it to me because <clears throat> I want her giveaway and I won this by, give by Pink Sim. Pink Sim gifted it to me. So thank you, Pink Sim. <laughs> I really like it. This is my like my second time using it or something. I don't really know. Okay, so that's pretty much the house. It's simple. Okay, there. Okay, now let me introduce you to the Sims. We're gonna start off with her. Okay, so this is Kylie Marshall, and her traits are handy, virtuoso, natural cook, loves the heat, and natural born performer. And she's a young adult still. Gemini, she likes Latin music, key lime pie, and spice brown. She only knows like this little people. She has no job, and I'll explain why in a second. Her skills are cooking level 1, guitar level 4, and handiness level 2, because she's been fixing things around the house. The toilet got clogged, and so the, and then like this, the sink broke, so she fixed that. She gained skills. And her, she has an opportunity, which is to play at an assembly for civilians and earning Happy, happiness rewards or something. Or so, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then here's our second sim, Jessie Marshall. She was actually a toddler, but she aged up into a child. Because when I cre and created sim, she was a toddler. I created a toddler. And her traits, she just aged up yesterday <laughs> in sim world, of course. Okay, so her traits are indie. Oh wait, her favorites are <laughs> indie, French toast, and orange, and her traits are no sense of humor, virtuoso, and loves the heat. The no sense of humor was actually generated when she aged up because she was crying because 
who didn't feed her, because Kylie apparently didn't feed her quickly. And then there's like all the people she knows. She was her babysitter. She hasn't got to school because today's leisure day. She just on Thursday. She's lucky she has three days off. That's it. Okay, and her lifetime wish, I forgot to say it, is golden tongue, golden finger fingers, which is to master the charisma skill and master the guitar skill. As you can see here, she is playing the guitar. Oh my god, okay. She is playing the guitar. So she can level up. So basically how they earned him. I can't talk today, sorry guys. How they will or how she will earn her money is by playing, performing for tips. So she isn't allowed to have a job or anything. It's not like a challenge or anything. I just, to make it fun, you know. So she can only perform for tips. She actually goes to the hot spots to perform for tips. Well, like, stand in front of the hot But she's not going today. Because we didn't read the paper. She reads the paper and then she goes to the hot spots. And then as for Jessie, she just says stump, like I said. <laughs> okay, so their little backstory is that Kylie, she had her, she had Jessie when she was a teenager, so she didn't get the opportunity to go to university. So, and she always wanted to be a, a musician, but like since she didn't get to go to university, to university. Or like music school or anything, she just stayed home and took care of. Oopsies, that was my phone. Of Jesse. So yeah, actually, her boyfriend abandoned them because once she found out, well, once he found out that Kylie was pregnant with Jesse, he was like, I don't want to have to have the rock. The responsibility of taking care of a child so he just didn't say a word and he left them which is pretty sad actually so yeah so Jesse doesn't even know her dad cuz I was like see she's just in the family tree cuz that was when she was a baby well actually when she, she was born he was like long gone so she took she was like I am responsible responsible enough to take care of my little child I love my child so yeah and actually <clears throat> she really really loves Jessie like it's her like the only thing she loves in the her first love and then her second love is music so yeah so she was like I want to I want my child I love my child I will take the responsibility of taking care of my baby so when she had the baby, they moved to Bridgeport because originally they used to live in Starlight Shores. So yeah, they moved. And yeah, <laughs> but she really loves her. Like, she doesn't want her to suffer or anything because actually she also had like a very sad childhood. Her parents weren't around that much. She didn't have any siblings. Like her parents, they were always they always went out to bars. Like and then like they didn't see her that much, you know. So they yeah they never saw her. Like after school, they only saw her for like an hour or two, and then like they went off to the bars for the rest of the night. That was like her daily routine. She doesn't or their or their daily routine she doesn't want that to happen to Jesse, so she never lets her go she never wants to let her out of her sight so yeah and yeah that's my current household i hope you i hope you guys enjoyed this video so yeah i'll talk to you guys later have a splendid <laughs> sorry about that she's watching tv so yeah i'll talk to you guys later have a splendid awesome day yeah, bye guys.